Everyone here has lost something of importance. Car keys, a family member. When the gentleman I, was see I have seen told me he was joining the military in the fall, my initial reaction was not fear or panic, but a pang of jealousy. Because a career in the Navy was a prospect that I lost two and a half years ago, two and a half years ago due to a hip injury. I tore the cartilage in my hip. This is known as a liquid tear. 10 out of 17 of y'all said that you've already experienced an uh, injury to your joints. The only silver lining, perhaps, to my injury was that I discovered something I'm passionate about. That's medical research. And today, I'm going to share with you all the, some of the information that I've got. Let's start with the basics. What is cartilage, and why does it not self-repair? Cartilage is a firm but flexible substance found in various forms and various structures of the body. It is made of, of specialized cells called chondrocytes, which produce very large amounts of special, extracellular special, extracellular matrix. There are four kinds, hyaline, fibro, elastic, and articular. Cartilage doesn't repair due to the lack of blood supply. Well, what happens when you give it blood? This is called platelet-rich plasma therapy. What they do is they, the, the, per, the mm, physician's assistant will insert a needle and uh, spurt in some uh, chemical irritant, and then they'll give you some nutrient-rich blood, platelet-rich blood. And in theory, this is supposed to allow the joint to heal itself. Uh, and the National Center for Biotechnology Information cites multiple studies on the positive effects. Unfortunately, the data is still out as to whether or not the treatment is worth it. A more common uh, treatment is arthroscopic surgery. Arthroscopic surgery is a minimally invasive surgical procedure in which a narrow tube is inserted that has a small camera attached through a like, small one, two inch incision into the joint. Small tools are used and they go in, they tie back the tear with a little bit of medical rope, and depending on the case, they will clean up the cartilage, which is to trim it back. Uh, the problem with this is the medical hardware is prone to failure given time. And uh, one of the four surgeons who, reject, who rejected treating me, Dr. Gary Brock, who's been very talented, um, told me that the outcome bordered right on experimental. Uh, perhaps the brightest prospect on the horizon for treatment is engineered cartilage. The leading trial for this is in Basel, Switzerland. Uh, it's led by Dr. Ivan Martin. And they're using uh, uh, human articular, uh, using human septum cells to treat articular cartilage, de articular cartilage defects in the knee. So far, they've discovered that it's effective, and the cell's ability to renew and adapt is due to the HOX. Uh, findings from the basic research and the three clinical studies on the properties of basal cartilage cells and the resulting engineer transplant opened up the possibility to investigate an innovative clinical treatment. Cartilage change. So it's Dr. Martin's on the results. And the, the, why that's such a big deal is, you know, when people say, I wish things could just go back to the way they were, that is exactly what it is. Because it's your cells, it's your cartilage, it's exactly what it was before. Um, so today I've talked to you about engineered cartilage, I've talked to you about plasma rich, platelet rich plasma therapy, and arthroscopic surgery. Why should any of this matter to you? You're not 80, you don't have to worry about osteoporosis. You're good. Well, the thing is, eventually, all of you will experience joint damage. That's what happens with age. If not now, then someday. And mobility loss, loss usually is and should be a gradual thing, but for a lot of people, like Miss Teller or myself, it isn't. It's just ripped away from you. Today I've talked, um, ooh, oops. I hope you take come away from this a little more educated, and if not for with more treatment options for injuries you may deal with or are dealing with, then with a curiosity to find out more about the subject. Thank you.